Good evening. Thank you for joining us on this Friday. We start with back to school tonight. Thousands of students across Western New York will be returning to the classroom next week. And for Buffalo families, there's a promise of change. Superintendent Dr. Tanja Williams in her state of the schools address today calling for action and accountability. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley leading us off tonight. This is our year of action and accountability. Buffalo School Superintendent Dr. Tanja Williams held her second state of the schools address at City Hall Friday. The superintendent fired off a number of recent successes for the district. You should know that in 2022, we graduated 79% of our children for the first time in a very long time. And Dr. Williams says improving reading rates of younger students is a major goal. By 2025, the district wants all third graders to be at proficiency levels. But there's so much more the district is working to improve. To place a high premium on safety and wellness, including anti-bullying. The district is facing a lawsuit from a family of a 12-year-old boy who died by suicide in May. The family claims he faced relentless bullying. But now the school board has approved a plan to collect data on bullying from each school. I asked the superintendent about the changes. We've been training, we've got work to do with our families to make sure that for all of us, if we see something, we say something, and there have to be some interventions that are provided immediately. Meantime, District Parent Coordinating Council President Edward Spidell tells me there's more parents can do. You also can report it online. So if you report it online, you're going to supervent the school and everybody's going to know right away and there's no secret. The superintendent also addressing the long-standing issue of suspension rates. Some reports saying they're the highest in the nation. She says that's not true and that the narrative must change. We got to start looking at our data and telling the truth. Now we got work to do, but we're not going to stand back anymore and just take, you know, statistics that are thrown out that are not true. When students return next week, they will follow new arrival and dismissal times under a three-tier bell system to deal with school bus driver shortages. Are you worried that that's going to be a big confusion where kids aren't going to be ready for that bus and knowing what time they start school? Um, no, I'm not. We've sent something out to all of our families. I will begin my slew of robocalls every single day next week. I will be encouraging principals to reach out to their specific school communities so that the parents know exactly what times. Buffalo students return for their first day next Friday. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Buffalo.